In cancer treatments, a combination of surgical removal and chemotherapy or radiation therapy are the traditionally well-known and common methods. But these treatments are not without deteriorating health side effects. Now, radiotherapy is a treatment for cancer using high-energy radiation, usually x-rays carefully calculated to damage the cancer cells and stop these abnormal cells from growing. A team of doctors in Korea have been increasing success stories with radiotherapy. The primary method of cancer treatment is the physical removal of the tumor, but treating it without cutting into the body. It's very impressive because CyberKnife has similar effects to surgery, and all I need to do is lie still. My doctor told me that most of the cancer cells in my liver have disappeared. Radiotherapy is a method of treatment used for many cancer patients and can bring out results similar to that of surgery. And like any other field, a group of doctors lead the way with their impressive treatment results. This is the CyberKnife Center at Korea Cancer Center Hospital. These people here have chosen non-invasive CyberKnife treatment, which is a form of radiotherapy. Radiotherapy uses beams of radiation to penetrate the body and it damages the DNA in cancer cells, killing the tumor. Combining radiotherapy with the latest technology is CyberKnife surgery. The best part about CyberKnife surgery is that it selectively removes cancer cells while preserving the surrounding healthy tissues. Also, CyberKnife treatment minimizes existing side effects from radiotherapy such as vomiting and nausea. At this center, 3,000 cases have been treated, including treatment for cancer in the brain, spine, liver, lungs and also in patients who cannot be operated on. I have been diagnosed with liver cancer and other hospitals had told me that I wouldn't be able to receive surgery, so naturally I lost hope. But someone I know had received cyber knife treatment here and recovered, so I received the same treatment and now I'm living a regular life while coming in for regular checkups. In the case of inoperable patients compared to when they receive existing treatment, combining CyberKnife treatment doubles the possibility of the cancer not recurring for two years. The success rate for spine cancer is also higher than existing records in the field. It's especially effective on prostate cancer, showing a 100% success rate. They work closely with various departments, determining how much radiation is needed, for how many treatments and for how long. Doctors of science also take part in this process to increase the success rate of the treatment. When we know CyberKnife surgery will take place because the tumor can move as the patient breathes, we need to determine whether to take that into consideration. Using this process, we draw out the most ideal method with these simulations. Their leading skills were also recognized by a prominent journal, winning them worldwide acknowledgement. These doctors are opening new opportunities and winning recognition on the global stage with their radiotherapy, providing new hope in taking on cancer.